Shalom and welcome to Questions and Answers with Rabbi Eric T. This week's question comes from John, and John asks a question that I've been asked hundreds of times since I've been a Messianic rabbi. And that question is, why do you call yourself rabbi when Yeshua actually says specifically in Matthew 23, verse 8, but you are not to be called rabbi? Well, that verse goes on and says, For one is your teacher, and you are all brothers. And call no man on earth your father, for one is your father who is in heaven. Nor are you be called teachers, for one is your teacher, the Messiah. But the greatest among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself shall be humbled, and whoever humbles himself shall be exalted. Now in order to answer that question, let's look above and see the context of what these verses are talking about. In verse 2 it says, The Torah scholars and Pharisees sit on the seat of Moses. So whatever they tell you, do and observe. But don't do what they do. For what they say, they do not. They tie up heavy loads hard to carry and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves aren't willing to lift a finger to move them. All their works they do to be noticed by men. They make their tefillin wide and their tzitzit long. They love the place of honor at feasts and the best seats in the synagogues, greetings in the marketplace, and to be called rabbi by men. So the context is that there are these people who want to be exalted, want to be honored, want to receive glory, want to be praised by men, and included in that is their desire to be called rabbi in order to be honored in that way, in order to be elevated as a higher realm of person and and some kind of an authority higher than they should have. Now, every rabbi has some authority, just like a teacher or a law enforcement officer or a mayor or the president. Their role brings along some authority with it. But what we're talking about here is not having the authority of a shepherd that leads a flock, but having a higher authority than human beings should. Being lifted up and exalted, being able to tell people to carry burdens that you won't carry yourself, those kind of things. Now understand that in this verse that says, don't be called rabbi, it also says, don't be called teacher. Yet within the Brit Chadashah, or the New Covenant writings, we're told we're supposed to have teachers in our assembly. So how can you not have a teacher or not call somebody teacher if you're a teacher. Likewise, we're told to honor our father and mother, but if you're not allowed to call somebody father, how do you identify your father? I'm a rabbi, I'm a teacher, and I'm a father, but I'm simply a human being under the authority of Yeshua and the Torah, under God's authority. My redemption, my place in the kingdom is equal with every other person that's born again. I do not have a higher seat, a higher place, a higher authority beyond that of which the body of Messiah has within it to teach, to instruct, to encourage, to share with, to be one that shares the good news, that goes into all the nations preaching the good news. So that is my position as a rabbi, although the condemnation or the conviction to not call yourself rabbi has a different meaning and connotation, and it's about exalting oneself higher than you should. And so we don't do that. As a matter of fact, I don't demand people to call me Rabbi Eric. I don't demand that. However, I have completed a course of work. I have received shmicha, so I'm ordained as a rabbi by a body of rabbis that endorse me and my calling as a believer and as a rabbi. So I have a title that goes along with my name but that title doesn't make me a higher being than anybody else. And so it's important to understand these things as we keep the Word of God in context. If you have a question like you'd like me to answer in the future, email me at reveric at britom.org, and I'll answer it in an upcoming video. Also, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when my next video comes out, and share these videos with others that you think it might be a help to. Thank you so much and Shalom.